quick tip the only tip that i want to give for real for this video is because i want to title it how to make your closure look like a frontal and the key to making your closure look like a frontal is baby hairs do baby hairs like you have a frontal on don't know maybe we just ain't been on the same Baby hairs make your closures look a lot more like frontals. Lay it down like it's a frontal style, like it's a frontal hot comb, and everything like it's a frontal. You can get that frontal look without having a frontal by doing a closure. I prefer closures all day long, so I style mine like a frontal. So, straight out of the box, the wig comes pre plugged, pre bleached, and the lace comes pre plugged, so you don't really have to worry about doing too much work to this wig if you do struggle in that area it comes plucked really really well as you can see the hairline looks good and the lace is not that like white color it's on the thinner side um the construction of the unit is a little bit more comfortable it comes with that elastic band and two combs on the sides it's a 26 inch length so it is pretty long even though it looks short because of the curls and then it's 180 percent density it's more like a yakky texture to me it's not silky straight so it looks fuller than 180 percent density and i really like the texture of the hair it looks more realistic to me the lace is a nine by six so you have a lot of parting space and it always comes with extra lace to me, in my opinion. So I take my razor and cut that off. This is what the lace look like straight out of the box. You will have to add some type of lace tint spray. You cannot just put it straight on your head or some makeup. So I'm going in with the Ruby Kisses in the shade 14. I actually ended up using something different later in the video. So just keep on watching to see that. But I wanted to show you guys the two different ways you can wear your glueless wigs. So this is the way that most people know to just put their glueless wigs on. And there's nothing wrong with this. This is the first and easiest way to wear it, especially if you don't want to have to do a whole lot of work to it. As you can see, the makeup on the lace is, you know, fine and everything. This is fine. But there are better ways to do your glueless wig, which I will be showing you later on in the video if you want that frontal effect. So this is a closure and... You know, you can wear closures like a closure, but if you want to give that uh, that illusion that is more, definitely keep on watching this video to the next part so I can show you guys some tips on how to make it look more like a frontal. But as you can see, there's a little bit of a white cast on the lace. If you are not matching your lace exactly to the color of your skin, that will happen. As you can see right here, it's looking a lot better. So I did actually wear this wig for about a week. I reinstalled it and put it on with my even lace bond spray so i did spray the wig down a little bit and then i put on the kiss lace tint spray in the shade medium brown and i feel like it's blending a lot better and it looks a lot more natural in my opinion i still had that white cast when i had it on gluelessly and so that's something that you can get rid of by making sure that you're using the right shade and then using some type of you know hairspray or spritz or something like that so i prefer to wear my glueless wigs like this and then i did my edges a little bit more dramatic you definitely can do this just because it comes to be worn glueless doesn't mean you have to actually wear it like that there's a bunch of different ways you can wear it it just really is a convenience thing having it pre-cut and pre-bleached and all that pre-plucked um it just takes away a lot of the time of having to do all that extra stuff so i definitely do like that the wigs come like that i wanted to show you guys two different ways that you could wear the wig so you didn't think that it just only had to be worn gluelessly you can wear it like this as well and i mean essentially using lace spray is not glue okay um i did go in and just touch up the curls with my wand curler because they were originally one curled and i wanted to show you guys how i do that so keep on watching this video i'm going to take you through the whole process of all the products i use and the steps to that and you can see the final look and what i think of this hair
so I finished this side. I know I said I wasn't doing little teen curls, but when I tell you, I be getting carried away when I do my hair. And then I end up doing stuff that I said that I wasn't gonna do. But yeah, so I finished this side. I'm about to go ahead and just separate the curls with my fingers. I'm gonna take some more of this serum, just like a little, little too bit, like a half a throw this much. And I'm just gonna pull the curls out with my hands so it'll still have shine and then it'll be fresh, you know? I'm gonna go ahead and do this little bit that's left on the other side and yeah, come back when I'm done so y'all can see the full thing. And in my, I haven't even touched this up, mind y'all. This is a closure, six by five. I know I said that in the beginning, but I'm gonna have to reiterate. <laughs> it's a six by five closure. And I sprayed this down with my even spray. I don't have my stuff with me, I don't think. I don't have my stuff in here because I went in here over the weekend for my last client, because I'm not doing no more people. But um, I used the red even active spray to spray this down. It's been on ever since. I wouldn't say it's been on three days and then you can just touch up with some spritz i have not touched up so i might as well go ahead and just spray me some down the only thing that i have done is touch up my edges so i might as well go ahead and spray me some um spritz on there just to touch it up and have some added security but it's still on it hasn't moved so in my personal opinion i prefer closures i really really like that other way that i did but it was a frontal and me and frontal just go put together one because i get too high and two because I don't like having stuff all the way across my forehead like that. I like the closure. So I try to do the frontal group with the closures with the edges and that's what it's getting. Okay, so done with the other side, doing a little half a pump again and we're going to just pull some of these out. I like thick hair, I like the fluffy look. So I'm gonna pull my curls out and then just touch up the front so it's the top so it's nice and flat. How the curls came out. This hair just holds the curls so freaking nice. I've been loving the wand curl look. It's killing my arm, but I love the wand curl look. Um, I actually took this wig off from the first video, from the beginning of this video to now. I took the wig off. It was installed gluelessly and I used makeup. I, when I took it off, I wiped the lace off and I redid it with this Kiss, Red by Kiss Lace Tint Spray Medium Dark Brown. I like this a lot better. This matches my hair. It's the exact, matches my hair, matches my skin tone. It's the exact same color. So it melts a lot better. Um, I also had like a little bit of like a shadow, like the lace looked a little teeny bit too light on camera in that angle because I am directly in front of a window on that um, clip. So just keep that in mind. I do think that this melts a lot better up i want to take some of my melt spritz spray this is the melting spray extreme firm hold and i don't know if y'all have this problem but this stuff is so like sticky it starts to clog up the little spray thing so i just do it with my finger and i'm just going to press that onto the lace no i'm not putting on a melting band and all that because this dries so fast not as fast as the lace bond spray but it still dries fast. Just let it air dry. You can put your band on if you want that extra melt and all that. But like I said, I, I honestly don't care. It's already melted. I'm just touching up. And I'm leaving my edges alone. I just touched them up this morning before I left. And that's it. This is how it's looking. If y'all want to see what it looks like without the headband, go on my Instagram. Go follow me. Go follow me on my TikTok if you're not following me. Everything is the same now. At Alicia Corinne. Cause that's my middle name if y'all didn't know how to pronounce it's current so yeah i decided to change my name so everything could all be together in the same username there was too many alicia v's spelled exactly how my name was spelled so i couldn't just have my username so i changed it to alicia corinne one and only spelled the way that i spelled it um so yeah make sure you guys go follow me because i do post short form content of these videos with my hair already styled and stuff so you don't have to watch the full YouTube video. Or if you just love me and you wanna see my content, go follow me. 
Um, but yeah, I started originally for me to go out with my man and we went on a date and I did not have this headband on, it was just like a side part. So if y'all want to see that, go check out that video. Let me know what y'all think about this hairstyle. I, did, I have a little bit of an updated makeup routine too. Um, did a short video on my TikTok and Instagram if y'all want to see it, but if you want a full like long video, talk through, let me know, and I'll do an updated makeup tutorial with all my products that I'm using. As far as the hair goes, for what I'm thinking now since I first installed it, again, it gets dry. It does get dry, but I think it's the texture of hair. It is not like a silky body weighting it's textured hair so it's not going to be silky you're going to have to put some products in it and act like it's your real hair um it does tangle over time in the back at the bottom because it's textured so keep that in mind as well i have experienced some shedding more shedding than i would like but it's not something that is detrimental where oh, i wouldn't buy this wig because honestly i would purchase this wig with my own money even if it wasn't sponsored because i really like the lace I like the way the wig came pre-plucked. I like all of the stuff. I feel like it's on a higher quality than some of the glueless wigs that you receive. It is one of the better ones, okay? So, make sure you guys are subscribed, liking my video, comment if you wanna leave me a comment, let me know what y'all think of this wig, and I'll see y'all in my next video.